Before we begin, please acquire these items at TonyMacX86.com. Go ahead and pause the video if you have to. For this build, we will be using macOS Sierra version 10.12.6. Insert the USB in your computer and open disk utility. Select it on the left, click erase at the top. Put USB in the name field. Mac OS X Extended Journal for the format and GUID Partition Map for the scheme. Now click Erase. Now open up UniBeast, agree to the terms, click next and go through the screens and select your USB, Sierra, UEFI mode, and no injections. Click continue and wait till it is finished. Drag MultiBeast to the root of your USB drive. Boot into your BIOS and load optimized defaults. These are the settings that I have. PT-D is disabled, secure boot state disabled, super IO config serial port 1 disabled, XHCI handoff should be enabled. Save and reboot to the USB boot drive. When the cover screen appears, select boot Mac OS. When the install is on screen, choose Utilities and open Disk Utility. Highlight your target drive from the Sierra installation in the left column. Click Erase button. For name, type Sierra. For format, choose OS X Extended Journal. For scheme, choose GUID Partition Map and then click Erase. When it's finished, 
close disk utility and install. When installing, make sure you select the Sierra partition and not the boot drive that's still inserted into the computer. After the installation, choose the USB boot partition one more time and then choose the boot Mac OS from Sierra at the Clover screen. Finish setting up the Mac OS X installation and remember not to log into your iTunes account at this time. Helping multi-beast, choose UEFI mode and use these settings that I have. You can save your config if you want, otherwise select install. You can also unmount your USB boot drive as it is no longer needed. Reboot when finished. Sierra should automatically boot at the Clover screen. If it does not boot, go into your BIOS and set up the correct hard drive partition to make it the first bootable device.
Wi-Fi should be working as well as Bluetooth. Open DCPI Manager to check if your audio devices are listed. Open Clover Configurator and mount your EFI partition. Now run the script Audio Clover HDMI 120 Command 1.0D and say yes and reboot. Install NVIDIA WebDriver and reboot. If it fails to boot, don't worry. Enter NV underscore disable equals one in the options. Now install AGDP fix and reboot when finished. Web driver should now be enabled. Open DCPI Manager. You should now have the following if you have the board listed at the start of this video. Audio should now be working as well. If you want iMessage working, head back over to 20 Mac x86 as there is a ton of information on the subject. It's a large community with a lot of knowledgeable people. They will help you if you happen to get in a snag or two. Thank you for watching.